Hi Aquarius, welcome to my main channel, Chelsea Love Tarot. This is Chelsea. In this reading, we're going to find out who's been thinking about you today and why. Today is the 9th of September, 2024. Time here in Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia is 9.26 a.m. And Aquarius, I'm giving away free personal reading for a lucky winner once a week. To enter, hit like, subscribe, and comment below. I love Aquarius. If you have commented before, you can do it again. It will increase your chance in winning. And winners will be announced on the community page weekly. All right, Aquarius, let's get your reading started. Spirits and angels, please show me for Aquarius. What's been thinking about Chris today and why? Chris, please bear in mind that roles can be reversed between you and your person. This is a general reading, so please take these messages lightly. If you want a more accurate reading, you can book me. All info is below. Make sure you subscribe. It's free to subscribe. Now, Chris, I'm doing this reading with a genuine intention. I'm Christian. And tarot reading is not witchcraft. Just FYI. Okay, we've got the Knight of Swords at the bottom of the deck. This person could be thinking about you because they're angry with you or you're angry with them. Some anger here, okay. Knight of Swords. Definitely thinking a lot about you. Seven of Cups. Maybe they dream of you. Maybe they think they're trying to make a decision. They're really upset. Or also, it could mean that they're really confused. Unless if roles are being reversed, they could be thinking about you being like super upset with them. Um, especially if you have told this person off at one point in time. At one point in time, this person would be a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, could be an Aries, Aquarius again. Uh, the Hierophant could be a Taurus, could be a Fire Sign, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo. You do have one, two, three people here. This is a major kind of, but these two are court cards. So maybe two or three people thinking about you. But I feel like all of these thoughts are confusion. Um, anxiety, it involves anxiety. It involves anger. So Eight of Cups, this could be somebody you've walked away from or they may have walked away from you. You may have a father figure, like, oh, a father thinking about your dad could be thinking about you. Or somebody somebody older than you are could also be a boss. Um, someone who has some sort of power, okay, over you. But, you know, hmm. I feel like generally, Chris, with the star here, this is your energy. So it feels like whoever this person is thinking about you, the reason why is that, they want to heal things with you, okay? They want to heal things with you because the story is about healing and recovery. If you're upset with them and they know that you're upset with them, they could be thinking about how do I go about, you know, uh, healing this with Aquarius so that Aquarius can, you know, put it behind him or her or they. No gender here. The uh, higher font here is more first. This could be somebody who has broken their promises. Unless it's you, somebody broken their promises. But it could also mean some sort of separation, divorce. Or this is somebody you've had a very, or currently still do, a very, uh, either it's a very formal connection or it could have been married, if not like family connection serious connection i think this person is super super stressed yeah they feel like they're not in control of the situation they can't do anything or don't know what to do not a once in love first this person is not doing anything because they don't know what to do because they're confused eight of cups it stresses them out that they will potentially have to walk away from this or that they've walked away from this or that you walked away from this. Ten of Swords here is in reverse. They could be thinking about releasing really the hurt and the pain and perhaps both of you could, you know, fix something, heal things together. Have in reverse it could mean also that they could be stressing and thinking about how they should have done what they should have done the right way do things the right way, the ethical way. Four Pentacles in reverse, they may have been thinking that they dropped the ball, okay? Or should have done things like the mature way, 
someone who is wise instead of being this nine of wands in reverse and the emperor in reverse. Maybe this person abused the power over you, over this connection, or taken it for granted in general. And you may have gotten upset with them. This is your energy unless rolls are being reversed here. We've got the three of wands. Also, we've got the eight of swords here. Yeah, 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 for sure. You see, one, two, three, four, five swords. A lot of thoughts, a lot of like um, information in your head. They could be just overanalyzing, overthinking about the entire situation. Because I think this has affected this person person like really badly or very significantly. Maybe you gave this person a piece of your mind, right? Six of swords. They could be thinking about moving towards Kama Water with you, through wands, longing for you or longing to see you, longing to heal this connection with you. Could be a fire sign again, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo. Let's see a bit more, Aquarius. Five of Cups, Seven of Swords in first. You, again, unless roles have been reversed, but this is someone, someone you're so upset with because you may have seen their true colors. They may have been sneaky. They may have done something behind your back. Something wrong. They did something wrong, okay? Point blank. And the Eight of Swords here, they can't stop thinking about what you said to them. They can't stop thinking about their past actions. Unless you were the one who did something to them, then they must be upset with you and thinking about everything that you have done to them. Five of Cups in reverse. Yeah, they're thinking about, okay, maybe this is done. Um, can, can we actually salvage this? Hoping to salvage this connection, I would say. They don't know what to do. They're confused. Um, Seven of Cups thinking of how to approach you, how to fix things with you, how to make you trust them again or go back to how things used to be because the Hierophant could mean some sort of structure, discipline. So maybe there's somebody you used to, like, could also mean religious, religiously see this person or do things. You know, there's some sort of a, a routine that you and this person had but now it's there's no such thing. There's no such thing. There's no routine anymore. It has been the routine has been broken. So or it could be promises being broken here. So they could be thinking about I wish things because the star is here also. I wish things could go back to how it used to be. That same routine, uh, whether it's like talking to each other every day or seeing each other or studying together, working together or eating together watching TV together, whatever it could be. Ace of Swords is the one first. I feel like, Aquarius, you resent this person so much. You really don't like this person, like, or angry. It's so angry with this person. And they can even feel your energy, <laughs> feel your wrath, okay? Um, unless it's vice versa, that they're so upset with you. Now they can't stop thinking about you if you're the one who has betrayed them. But let's see a bit more. Again, I'm just giving you the scenario of vice versa because it's a general reading. If you want a more accurate reading, you can book me. All info is below. A lot of people tell me that I'm very accurate. And we've got the Three of Pentacles here in what verse. Aquarius, there's somebody you didn't get along with. Um, couldn't compromise or couldn't meet in the middle. As a discord here, Ten of Pentacles could be a family member or somebody you live with in the same house at one point in time. Um, again, could be a parent, could be a, any family member uh, or someone you were married to. But again, Aquarius, this somebody, I don't think it was like a connection that was shallow. This was a very deep connection that you had with this, that you had with this person. And remember, I mentioned the word routine, right? This is someone you routinely see or you routinely talk to or there's something like both of you have built something together, but it didn't finish being built, basically, because the church here is actually not done being built. And that's why the architect is here um, telling the priest and this other woman, like, you know, his design, what else? What else is there to build? That's why this 
this card usually means work in progress so but it's in reverse so something maybe both of you were working towards but it didn't come to fruition or a connection where like it just it ended perhaps number 10 could indicate an ending as well like it didn't materialize it didn't go all the way towards the end they could be thinking you know maybe life would have been different if all of these things didn't happen and the empress here is in love first Ooh, emperor and the empress this is a couple for some of you it could be your mom and your dad thinking about you or this is a family member or this is somebody you were in a connection a very deep serious connection with okay it was you know with the higher fund here that's why for some of you it's blood related or you have kids together or talked about marriage before engaged before or both of you were in a very very serious relationship before or well, this could also be like a family friend whom is very very close to you and your family knows this person okay all right Chris, this is your reading i hope it serves you well don't forget to hit like share and subscribe i'm open for personal readings if you'd like to book me all info is below it's free to subscribe so make sure you do especially if you've been here before I'm going to be posting your videos very, very often. Um, I know I have taken like a pretty long break on this channel, <laughs> but I'm, I'm back. Okay, so make sure also that you um, comment, comment below. I love Aquarius and interact with this video so that the um, algorithm will improve. That way it will encourage me to do more of your videos. And Chris, I hope to see you back here again soon. And don't forget to hit on the bell notification button, okay? Take care. Love you. Bye.